Hi guys, it's Coach Jen. It is Monday of week four of our Stride into the School Year program, and here we are getting ready for circuit four. So just like last time, I'm outside in the back while my kids are inside, and hopefully no one will come out here and bug me, and uh, no one will scream or anything like that, and we will be able to get through our program without any interruptions. So without further ado, we are gonna get started with our circuit four. So um, our first move are speed skaters, and this is a great move to do as part of your warm-up. It helps, you know, increase that heart rate, get things warmed up and primed and ready for your workout. So speed skaters, um, they are a plyometric move, so you can build strength and power at the same time. Um, so let's go ahead and get started with our speed skaters. <clears throat> so I'm going to be back here. Now to do a speed skater, you're going to jump from side to side like this. You don't have to jump if you don't want to. You can just step from side to side, getting that leg behind you. But otherwise, you can add a little power and jump from side to side. So we're gonna do that for one minute. I got my handy dandy timer here. Ready, and let's go. So jumping from side to side, getting one leg behind the other. You can add some arm movements. So bring that arm back and forward with the other one. Getting some power, getting some strength. <sighs> Just what we need on Monday, right? Power and strength. Although most of you will watch this on Tuesday. So you need it for Tuesday morning too. <sighs> All right, we are just halfway through now. <clears throat> my balance a little bit. Ten more seconds. It's a little windy, so I apologize if it's hard to hear me. All right, that's one minute. Okay, stop my timer, and now we are going to move on to fire hydrants. Oh, this is a great move to work the smaller glute muscles. So those are the muscles that help stabilize the hips. This is a great move for runners. I highly encourage it. You're gonna get into tabletop position. Shoulders are over elbows, elbows over wrists, hips are over knees, and the knees are about hip width distance apart. You're going to raise the knee up without dipping at the hip on the standing side. <clears throat> so if that means you only raise your hip up like an inch, then that's what it means. Imagine you've got a tray on your back, you don't want it to fall off. So if that means you only lift that knee up a little bit, that's okay. <clears throat> I'm gonna do 30 seconds on each side rather than alternating, because I feel that'll be able to better engage that muscle rather than alternating. So I'll do right leg first and then we'll do left leg. So 30 seconds on the clock and let's do that right leg Pull that belly in towards the spine. That'll keep the back nice and straight. So, lift that knee up. You can touch the ground with that knee on the down, but you don't have to. You can keep it raised. Just be mindful that you're keeping that back nice and straight and you're not sinking into that standing leg. So those hips stay nice and level. I think they're already screaming in there. All right, five more seconds. Last one on this side, and now let's do the other side. I'm gonna turn around so that you guys can see it. <clears throat> All right, so 30 seconds here. Pulling that belly in towards the spine. called a fire hydrant because we look like, you know, a dog about to use a fire hydrant. Pretty lovely, right? All right, this is the last one here. Good job. Now, before I move on, I know a lot of you had some issues with the exercises that where we were on our knees. 
So a good option is to use a chair. So you can use the back of a chair for a move like this. So basically what you would do, you would get into plank position, bend the knee, and then open it out like this, just as if you were on the knees on the floor, only you're not, you're inclined. So this takes that pressure off the knee and you would do 30 seconds on each side. Okay, now, the wind blew my cheat sheet away, hang on. Okay, we're doing power skips. <clears throat> now we did these in our workout, I believe it was week two, and you can do them you know, back and forth on your grass, or you can do them in place too. For the purposes of the video, I'm just gonna do it in place. So, to do your power skip, you're just going to skip up and back down, and we're gonna do that for a minute, okay? So, minute on the clock, and here we go. Skip up, and just switch side to side, aiming to land on the balls of your feet, using power to get off the floor, off the ground, raising that knee straight up, I wonder if my neighbors can see me. <laughs> All right, we've got 25 more seconds. the TBA March, a little one waving, TBA March, so TBA stands for trans, trans, adver, trans adverse abdominis, which is the deep, deep abdominal muscle that attaches to the spine. It's the hardest one to reach, <clears throat> so doing moves like this, the dead bug that we had, will get that deep abdominal muscle. So what we're going to do you're going to lay down, have your hands at your side. You want to tuck the pelvis slightly so that your lower back is on the mat. <clears throat> you don't want to arch the back here. So pull that belly in towards the spine. Have that lower, lower back against the mat. You're going to basically, using that deep abdominal, pull the leg up so that the calf is parallel to the floor and then put it down, and then alternate on the other side. So we're gonna do a minute of this. If this doesn't do it for you, you can do both legs at the same time. You just wanna be mindful that you're not arching that back, you're keeping that lower back on the mat as you pull those legs up. Another way that you can make it more difficult is to raise your shoulders off the mat. So you'd lift up off the shoulders, then you can march the feet this way, or you can do both at the same time. But we're not doing that right now. We're gonna do regular TVA march. So one minute here, get our positioning. Our lower back is on the mat, and I'm going to march the legs nice and slowly, one at a time. So keep that back on the mat as you march the legs. This is a great stabilizing exercise. And again, if this isn't challenging enough, you can use both, or excuse me, you can move both legs up at the same time. You just wanna make sure that that lower back is against that mat, belly button pulled in towards the spine. Got 10 more seconds. This is one of those deceptively difficult moves. So you may think it starts out pretty easy, but keep doing it, you'll feel it. And that core will thank you. Oh, we are over a minute. I was having so much fun with that one, woohoo! All right, 
we are going to move on to push-ups. So again, there are a couple different ways you can do this. You can do, you know, your push-ups, regular standard push-ups, you know, pushing up and down this way. You can be on your knees, pushing up and down this way. Or again, if you have issues with um, being on your knees for too long, you can use the back of a chair. So you'd be against the chair like this and push, push up and back down just like that. So pick your poison. I'm gonna be down on the mat. We're gonna do one minute of push-ups here, okay? Yep, okay. Ready? Oh, and again, uh, if you have shoulder issues, doing your push-ups, which is what it, with what is called a neutral grip or a narrow grip, you're going to have the arms in. If you wanted to do a wide grip like this, that'll put the shoulder in a little bit more vulnerable of a position, so just be careful with that. If you want to keep those arms in, that's fine too. Um, okay, you guys ready? So one minute on the clock. Here we go. And remember, you don't want to lead with that chin. Keep that chin pulled in so that that neck stays aligned. You can also have a wide stance that helps make it a little bit more stable. Halfway through. Playing around with my arms there. One more. Ah! Woohoo! One minute of push ups under our belt. Okay, we're gonna finish the circuit with a quick knee pull. And again, there are a couple different ways we can do this. We can do it standing, kind of like a high knee, and you're gonna bring that knee up high, pull it in, pull it in, pull it in. Or you can do this laying down. Same thing, you're on the floor, your lower back is pulled in towards the mat, and you're pulling in that leg using those abdominals. So whatever feels good here, I'm going to do it standing up, Let me get my clock. All right, you guys ready? Minute on the clock and we are pulling, whoop, losing my balance, pulling that knee in, pulling that knee, using that core, using those hips, pull that knee up towards the chest. Standing nice and tall on that standing leg. Single leg moves are great for our stability, great for runners because we're standing on one leg most of the time in run as we're running. So it's great to do moves where you're standing on one leg, especially if you have balance issues. You need to do more of these. All right, 20 seconds left. more. I'm going to do one more on each side and done. That's one minute. All right. We are halfway through. I'm going to grab some water. I'm sweating. All right. We're going to start back at the top with those speed skaters. How's everyone doing? Everyone feeling good? Having a blast? Getting our circuit done. Okay, let's do some speed skaters. Okay, just to refresh your memory, we are going from side to side with a little hop, or you don't have to hop. You can just go from side to side, stepping from side to side. But hopping is fun. You guys ready? All right, one minute on the clock and speed skaters. We 
are halfway through. Ten more seconds. Okay, last one. Good. All right, we're going back to fire hydrants. So back on the mat. <clears throat> I guess this time I'll face this way. And again, if being in this position hurts your knees, you can use the back of the chair. You would essentially be kind of like in a plank and doing this, much like those spider planks we did, only up on a chair. Okay, fire hydrants. So, just as before, I'm gonna do 30 seconds on each side. If you wanna alternate, that's perfectly fine. Just be mindful that when you're making that switch from knee to knee, you're not sinking over at all. Those hips stay nice and level, okay? Why don't we go ahead and alternate just so you can see what I'm talking about. Okay, shoulders are over elbows, elbows are over wrists, our hips are over our knees, belly is pulled in towards our spine. A minute on the clock and we're gonna alternate here. So, raise that hip, uh, knee up without moving those hips. Keeping those hips nice and level. Head is down, you're looking at the floor, keeping that neck in neutral position. This is a great move, I know I've said it already, but if you can do this one as part of your regular strength training, you will be a stronger runner for it. All right, 10 more seconds. Let's try and get one more on each side. And done. Okay, we are moving on to our power skips. So again, I'm just gonna do it in place, but if you wanted to skip along back and forth, that is perfectly fine. I don't think you'd be able to see me on my video here if I did that. So I'm just gonna do it in place. All right, you guys ready? We got a minute on the clock and let's go. And all you need here is just a hop. We just wanna get some clearance between you and the floor. You don't have to jump off to the moon. hard. Sorry, I sing to myself sometimes. 20 seconds left. Okay, last one on each side. That is one minute. Okay, we've got our TBA march now. Okay, so you're gonna lay back on your mat. Your back is flush against the floor. Please excuse my messy ponytail. Okay, lower back is flush against the floor. You are gonna slowly raise one leg up at a time, keeping that lower back on the floor. We've got one minute going. 
And again, if you wanted to increase the difficulty here, you could raise both legs at the same time, keeping that lower back on the floor the entire time. Belly pulled in towards the spine, back nice and straight. But you don't have to, you can keep it right here. This is good, good stuff. Aiming to use that deep abdominal muscle to pull those legs up and not just the hip flexors, although you are using them too. 15 seconds left. All right, let's get one more on each side and done, good. All right, we are moving on to our push-ups. And I think I'm gonna do them against this uh, chair just so that everybody can see what I'm talking about. So a minute here, you're in your plank position and you're pushing down and back up, just like that. All right, now I'm gonna go back onto the mat. Kids are up to trouble in there. All right, one more here. Ah. Whew. Those push ups make me sweat, man. Okay. We got one last move, and that's a quick knee pull. All right. So I'm going to do this standing again. <sighs> Start that minute and I'm going to pull that knee up, pull, pull, engage the quad on the standing leg as you pull. Try not to collapse at the core as you do it so you're not collapsing, you're pulling that knee up, keeping that back nice and straight here, okay? Someone's doing some yard work. Twenty seconds left. Just a couple more seconds. Let's get one more on each side. We're done. <sighs> nice work, guys. Another great circuit under our belts here for week four. I hope that you guys continue doing the awesome work that you're doing. It's been so, so great to see what everyone's been up to. I love seeing all your pictures and your stories and what's been motivating you to get out of bed in the morning. It's been really awesome. So keep up the great work. I'll post this link tomorrow morning, Tuesday. So for those of you that aren't here, you wouldn't be hearing me saying this at the moment, but see you tomorrow. Have a good night. Bye.